hey guys welcome to my channel data driven decision in this channel i talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff if you are down for that please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science so today we are going to talk about the power types so in any data science problem you take you will always see a particular plot that is called the blocks plot okay box plot so what is this box plot is all about so in the box plot is basically the quartiles of the data set which you are going to just plot it is in the box plot so let's see how you can create a box plot using a data okay so suppose there is a series of data like one two three four five six seven Eleven. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to take the uh, middle value of the whole series. Here the values from one to twelve. So middle value would be around six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So middle value is this. Uh, like if you take thirteen. In that case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so this would be the middle value. This is the middle value basically. This is the middle value, and then what you can do is that you can subdivide the whole series, this part and this part, into two middle values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right. Uh, this is so this is basically the middle value actually this one so four is the middle value here okay and this is the middle value okay. so this is called the 50 percent okay of the data set data this is called the 75 percent of data okay and this is the 25 percent data so this is 50 percent this is 75 percent and this is 25 percent of the data set okay then what you can do is that you can just uh, this is the this is basically the quarter term. q1 this is q2 Okay, this is Q3, and the last part would be Q4 actually. But we don't consider those. Okay, this is the Q. So what you can do is that, so you can plot it as a box plot, right? So in that case, so suppose the data sets is around uh, like just plotting it over here below. So suppose uh, yeah. so this is x this is so there are different different data points over there so this is the one data one, one data point. so different different data points are there over there so in that case can plot a plot over there so suppose the plot would be like this take a plot this and then take this So this is the plot and uh, this is one. one so you can think of this particular area this is called the quarter two over here this is the quarter three you can think of this is the quarter four this is quarter one yes quarter one basically so this is called the box plot so here you can see that 
the number of elements would be same so if over here is 1 2 3 4 5 in that case 1 2 3 4 5 okay only because it is spreaded spread out over here so that is why it is going like this and this is the quarter 4 this is quarter 1 okay so now what you can do is that uh, so here this is the box plot so in the box plot how what are the benefits of box plot basically so box plot benefit okay so what it can do is that it can help you to identify the dispersion of the data okay there is a dispersion of data so it help you to identify the dispersion of the data set and also we try to uh, help you to identify if there is any outlet in the data set so it help you to identify outlet data it try to help you to identify the outliers in the data set so in the data set how you can find all the outliers so suppose for this example there is a particular terminology called the iq1 that is called the i q okay there is a particular terminology called the iq1 so how, what is iq1 iq1 is nothing but the distance between the quarter 3 and quartile 1 okay so this distance this is called the iq1 okay so whenever some data point suppose is there any data point suppose i just put some other color over here so this color okay suppose there is a data point that is uh, over here right suppose which is over here over here so these are the different different data points is also there okay so <coughs> do this So, what, how can you find out the outliers? The outliers would be any point greater than 1.5 times of IQ bar. So, suppose any, what is the 1.5 times of IQ bar? So, this is 1 times. 1 times, suppose uh, this is the range over, okay. So this would be the range over here so any points suppose these points like this point this point okay this point this points it is not the point so these two points actually you can think of these are beyond the 1.5 times of iqr so this is called the uh, iqr so this point you can think of as the outliers this point this point these two are the outliers basically in this particular data set because it is 1.5 times of iq okay. similar way you can also customize this 1.5 also so suppose uh, in your business problem specific uh, from your business understanding you take more extreme cases in that case you can take 1.5 as a 3 3 times 4 times also you can pick it's all depend on your kind of a business scenario so this is called the box plot basically so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos i make for data science thank you for watching my video thank you